Brandy Bruno has it all. She's tall, poised, and beautiful. But Brandy hasn't always felt this confident about her looks. Growing up, I always, I knew I didn't like my original nose because I would notice in pictures and stuff, I would always take pictures straight on. I would hate to get pictures taken from the side. Her profile just wasn't what she wanted because of her nose. And I just decided that once I was able that I would, you know, I would do something to fix it. On this day, Brandy is at the offices of Atlanta Plastic Surgery seeing Dr. Fernando Burstein, the plastic surgeon who gave her the nose she always wanted. Well, Brandy was, you know, obviously a very beautiful uh, woman, so when you first look at her, you say, you know, what could she possibly uh, want to improve? But she had some very valid concerns. Now when I look in the mirror, I'm much more confident and I just feel happier with the you know, with the way I look. I feel this is the nose I was born to have. Going from this to this was actually much easier than Brandy expected. I did a lot of research for a couple months, um, just researching the different surgeons around the Atlanta area. And I came across um, the Atlanta Plastic Surgeons um, practice and I saw Dr. Burstein that this was his specialty. In fact, Dr. Burstein has been doing rhinoplasty for decades and he's double board certified in head and neck surgery as well as plastic surgery. His practice focuses solely on the face and neck. Rhinoplasty just statistically is one of the most difficult uh, procedures done in plastic and reconstructive surgery. You have to, to spend a lot of time studying, you have to know the anatomy. If you do uh, rhinoplasties, and you do a lot of rhinoplasties, uh, then it becomes sort of second nature. Brandy was impressed with Dr. Burstein's experience and qualifications, and after meeting him, she felt even more comfortable because of his approach. You can really tell that it's a passion of his, and he really cared about um, what I was looking for and listen to you know what bothered me about my my real nose and and how I could improve it. My approach to, to rhinoplasty is very individualistic, so I try to custom uh, order uh, the rhinoplasty for the patient's needs and desires. Do you have any trouble or problems? Part of that custom approach includes careful communication. So I typically will take someone like Brandy and say you know, let's go up to the upper third of your nose, the middle third, and then the lower third, and let's talk about each area separately, and you tell me about what you like and what you dislike from the front, uh, from the side. The next step was to translate the conversation to the computer. We actually imaged her own face and her own nose. It was really neat. I've never seen anything like it. He would take pictures, and then he could actually use his pen on the computer to monitor and edit it to show me what it could look like. And then we can manipulate the nasal uh, pyramid uh, to see if we can't get a look uh, that's close to what she is looking for. And we would just tweak it back and forth. If I told him I wanted a little bit more of a little tip on the top and he was able to draw that in. And that's the best way to communicate both verbally uh, and visually. No, it came out exactly the way he drew it. I think it looks identical. Better. Once the drawing is exactly what Dr. Burstein and his patient design, he uses the image during surgery. I actually take the photograph that they generate from their computer imaging and I put it right next to their face during surgery. And he really works with you, you know, to create, you know, a nose of your dreams. When you come in and you meet him and you talk to him, he's a doctor that really listens to what you're looking for. You can tell you're just not another patient, you're not another number. He really cares about, you know, what you're looking for. Dr. Burstein not only strives for perfection as he shapes the nose, he has also perfected a technique that helps his patients recover faster and easier than traditional rhinoplasties, which require gauze to pack the nose after surgery. And rather than use packing, I just use a very, very small little tiny chisel to move the nasal bone instead of a big one so you have less bleeding, less bruising, and more stability. And instead of using the packing to uh, stop the bleeding, I actually use sutures. Uh, it, that are dissolvable. Brandy says her recovery was amazingly easy. But surprisingly, the next day after the surgery, I was ready to get up and go. I, I, I was supposed to stay in the house for a week and just rest, and they tell you don't exercise and just take it easy. But I felt no pain. I barely had any bruising. You could barely see it. And um, I went out of the house the next day and just started going out and visiting friends and things because it, there was no pain. I never took pain medicine or anything. It's not your mother's rhinoplasty. Uh, now the procedure is done under a general anesthetic. Uh, it's relatively painless. The recovery is fairly quick and the results are fairly predictable. 
Brandy is thrilled with her results and hopes others who have been afraid of the recovery will learn from her experience. I'm ecstatic about my decision. I don't think, you know, I would never go back. I, I love my new nose. I think it was the perfect decision. Um, I went about it the right way. I did a lot of research. I made sure that I chose the doctor that was right for me and that understood what I was looking for. Um, and I got the results that I wanted. You just hold your head a little bit higher. You know, even though other people have no idea what you've been through and the little change that I made to my nose, it just makes me feel more confident about myself. It's a lot of fun when they come in and, you know, the outlook is better, they're smiling, uh, they're really happy, they're dating, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, it can be life-changing, you know, for an hour and a half of surgery, uh, it's amazing that it can have that kind of an impact.